CRTP was established in 1986, and so for over three decades now, CRTP has really been at the forefront of clinical research education, um, providing uh, trainees, junior faculty, and other healthcare professionals with uh, kind of foundational and advanced training in the uh, principles of clinical research. Probably the ideal candidate is someone who is considering um, having research as a component of their career, may or may not know if that's something that's right for them, and, and this program will really let them dip their toes in the water, understand if, if that is right for them. I, I do that said, I think anyone who is a practicing clinician would benefit from the program, but the ideal candidate is probably someone who is considering an academic career. If you don't have the clinical expertise, you get that from the people around you. Really, most of us these days are doing team science, and that's just the way you work, right? That's the way you advance the questions you have. And so, in some ways, it's an opportunity to practice working with folks from different backgrounds, because that's what's going to make you successful in the long run. I'm currently in the interview season for finding a faculty position. Um, and one thing that has come up in my feedback um, about my application and about my CV is the fact that I have formalized degree level training in clinical research. We often have students who will come back later after they finish the class to say, hey, we talked about this, you know, can, can I run something by you? And so I think it's not just about um, the lectures that are recorded or the classrooms, but it's about those interactions that can feed into your future collaborations and opportunities to get mentorship, which is really invaluable. We understand the complexity of uh, the, and the challenges of, of lives of our students and people considering coming to CRTP. We've done what we can to, to be flexible and, and structure the classes so that you can block off part of your day, take your classes, and then get back to your work and your research. You know, in the course that I teach, we try to be very transparent at the beginning that we get their lives are very busy. They're often balancing many different things. And just to be really open and communicative, we try to make sure that it works for them. So I will tell you, again, this works so seamlessly with the physician scientist model, with the fellowship training model, that a lot of what I've had to do just rides along with what I need for my fellowship graduation anyway, which has been very, very helpful. I love working with this audience. I love working with uh, professionals, adults who are at a point in their careers where they're really hungry for knowledge and they're really engaged. Through the clinical research training program uh, you learn to design and conduct clinical research. You learn how to analyze clinical research and, and a variety of different types of clinical research and you learn how to put it into the context um, of, of what's relevant clinically and, and all of those things are, are huge in terms of being able to, to both pursue my own research career and um, interpret data relevant to taking care of my patients.